Hello everyone and welcome to the second of our athletics team training sessions. Remember anyone can join in in this team training session. As a pulse raiser to start our warm up we will do some side to side running. We'll continue our warm up with some Frankensteins, which are just high kicks with straight legs. We'll now do some windmills, which entails you stepping with straight legs and leaning forwards and touching the ground with two hands. For the last part of the warm up you should get into a press up position with your feet apart, touch your left hand to your right toe and then reach as forwards as far as you can and repeat on the other side. As in the first training session, I'm going to show you five athletic movements. You should do each of these for one minute with a short rest in between. Once you have finished all five athletic movements, you need to repeat again for a total of three circuits. The first movement is a walk-in squat kick. Remember, you need to do this for one minute.
most of our running movement involves quick feet around an obstacle, sprint forwards, repeating quick feet around an obstacle and then sprinting forwards. The next movement is called a Bulgarian split squat jump. You have to be careful when you do this. Rest your foot on something like a chair, squat with one leg and jump. Remember to swap legs and keep going for the full minute on each leg. The second of our running movements involves quick feet between two markers and then sprint away from the second one. The last of our five athletic movements is what's called a side-to-side -side skate drill with a hop each side as well. If you do this properly, it's hard work for the full minute. Remember, each athletic movement should be done for a minute with a short rest in between. Do three circuits of each of the five athletic movements. Stay hydrated throughout your training session and once you're finished, make sure you do plenty of stretching.